so today's video is going to be my October favorites, and I know I'm kind of late on this. I know. I know. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I don't know why I have my pinkies up. I think I'm going to drink a cup of tea. Oh, speaking of cup of tea, I just finished filming um, my homemade Christmas tea video, and I am so excited because, honestly, um, if you can't tell, Christmas tree... Christmas lights, Christmas candle, even though you can't see it, I am like already in the spirit. Christmas, I, oh and I just finished filming a Christmas video where I decorate my room and you guys are going to do it with me and we're going to do hashtag holiday with Mare. But um, I just, I'm so excited and I know it's kind of early, I know it's still November, but you know what, I mean I know it's like early November, but I, I just, I can't, I have to like, I just have to start celebrating now because otherwise it just goes by too quickly and I just, I just, I just, I don't know. I'm sorry if you don't like how I'm starting so early. You can have your opinions, but I just, I'm a really excited person and someone made a Christmas countdown for me and it has 51 days left and it has like the seconds and the minutes. It's so funny, but yeah, I'm like really excited. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is something that I've been using forever now and it's the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm in the color uh, 9, uh, no, 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 gosh, no. It's N117 and this is one of the lightest shades. So I've been using this. I obviously don't use this every day. When I go to school, I just wear uh, concealer on blemishes and under my eyes and then I dust powder over it. But when I'm filming and for special occasions, I really, really, really love this foundation. And there are drugstore dupes, but I just, I'm just attached to this baby, so I don't know. If you guys know any good dupes for this, comment below. I would love to try them out and do a review on them. Okay, so my next beauty favorite is a powder. This is from Sonia Kashuk. It's a brightening powder, and what I use this for is to just put it under my eyes after I apply my concealer. And this just helps to kind of make them look a little bit brighter and not so like dark and just gloomy looking. I just like my eyes to look bright under here. So if you've been looking for a brightening powder from the drugstore that's affordable, I definitely recommend the Sonia Kashuk one. It's just a loose powder. So this is what it- oh! It just snowed on my purse. <laughs> okay, my last beauty favorite is this lipstick and I have it on right now in this video. So this is the CoverGirl lipstick in 305 Hot Passion and okay. I'm obsessed. Like, literally, I don't know why, but every other red lipstick from the drugstore has just looked kind of weird on me. But the, the color of this, it's just like, oh, I feel like I look orange right now. Oh gosh. Oompa Loompa. I actually found out about this lipstick through Fleur de Force on YouTube, and she was, uh, it was in her Taylor Swift video where she was doing the giveaway and talking about her interview with her and stuff like that. And she mentioned that this is the one that Taylor used. I thought Taylor would be using, you know, Chanel or Lancome. Uh, one of those brands that has a nice red lipstick, when I found out she was using cover, I was like, okay, I'm running my butt over to Rite Aid right now. I seriously love red lips for the holiday time. I will definitely be doing a tutorial with this lipstick, and I think for Christmas time, it's just a really fun way to express your festiveness on your face. Okay, so my last beauty favorite is this puppy right here. This is probably my favorite hair product in the whole entire world. I've actually had this for a while and I just rediscovered it in my cabinet one day after I took a shower. I needed something to put in my hair and I found this and I was like, okay, it says beautiful lengths, resist breakage for longer hair. And I was like, okay, you know what? That sounds like the perfect thing. I just apply a little bit to the bottom of my hair after I get out of the shower and it is like the best thing ever, girl, if you want your hair to be soft and frizzless, definitely get this. Okay, so that is it for my beauty favorites. Now moving on to random favorites. Okay, so the first one are Altoids, and these are the cinnamon flavor. Yes, cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Anything cinnamon just reminds me of Christmas. A lot of people associate peppermint with Christmas. I am one of those people that associates cinnamon with Christmas. I just, although if you eat two at the same time, it hurts. It burns your throat. Don't do it. Just eat one at a time or you're going to be, you're going to regret it because at school it looked like I was crying because I was like, <sighs> like someone was like, what's wrong? And I was like, I'll do it. And yeah, it's, they're very spicy, but they taste amazing and I keep them in my backpack. Okay, so my fashion favorite for the month of October and probably November and December and all year round because I'm obsessed with Peter Pan collars. When I saw this at H&M, it was love at first sight. I freaked out and I was like, I have to get this. 
I should have gotten more, but they only had, they had a pearl one with like pearls all over it, but the pearls were missing and I didn't want to buy it because it was like messed up anyways. So I got this one and it has all these multicolored sequins on it with like little beads. This Glamorazzi or Ingrid on YouTube just made a video after I bought this on how to make these yourself and I was kind of disappointed. I was like, man, I could have just like made one myself. Um, so I'm actually going to use her uh, video and make one myself. Uh, for my next one, but I already bought this and I'm not going to return it because I already wore it and stuff to school. And I actually do this with a lot of my sweaters. I just kind of want it to look extra jazzy sometimes. And I just plop this puppy on there and voila, you are just sassy. So this is probably the best thing ever. It's a mare and a bear. I am a mare bear now. Like, what? Okay, this is like the coolest thing in the world because I'm actually called Mare Bear at home and at school and now I'm officially a Mare Bear and I love it. It's from Rite Aid. Cute! And it's, its name is Mare Bear and it's a guy. Don't ask me why it's a guy, it just it kind of looks like a guy to me but its name is Mare Bear and it keeps my head nice and toasty warm. Okay guys, so my food favorite of the month is saltine crackers. Um, but the one thing, I mean I love the taste of them but if you eat too many of these you, you start to get a little parched. I don't know, like I just, the salt kind of just ugh, makes my throat all dry and then I'm just really parched and I have to just down a glass of water because I'm just like thirsty to the max after I just spit. But it's so worth it. It's like goldfish. When you eat goldfish, you get really thirsty. These are like 10 times worse. When you eat these, you're like, I need water. Speaking of water. Hmm. This is actually one of my favorites. I forgot to talk about this. I got this at Rite Aid. I get everything at Rite Aid and Target if you haven't caught on to my little obsessions. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's pink and it's a little water bottle jug and it just reminds me of like hiking and camping outside in the woods for some odd known reason. Okay, so my last random favorite are my Christmas socks that I got from Target and I'm gonna try to, I'm just gonna stand. You know what? Okay, so here are my Christmas socks. They're from Target and they have little little reindeers on them and little polka dots and I just think they're so festive. And the one thing I love about these socks is that they're actually probably the softest Christmas socks I've ever had. No, not just Christmas socks, like so socks in general. I have so many pairs of fuzzy socks, but these are like beyond fuzzy. They're like soft animal fuzzy. They're like sheep hairs fuzzy. But yes, and I am like completely obsessed with these socks. Ooh, I haven't shaved in like, uh, I'm gonna say a month. I started No Shave November a little early. Don't tell anyone. Okay, now moving on to song favorites of the month. So my first favorite song of the month is by Flory. She's a model, a singer, a musician. She's like this multi-talented girl. And my favorite song by her right now is Give Me Your Love. I also like Shot You Down and uh, Begging You or Me. I'm thinking it's Begging You. But I'm going to play it if I could find it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, my next favorite song of the month is Night Train by Jason Aldean. I just bought his whole album a couple weeks ago and I am obsessed. I've always been obsessed with him, but I, let me find it, guys. Oh, stupid shuffle. Ah, okay, well, you guys get the point. So Ellie Golding's Anything Could Happen, here we go, guys. <laughs> That song is the shiznips right there. And my last favorite song of the month is, I think, oh, that, eh, I don't think I know. It's Little Things by One Direction. And honestly, it's not just because they sing it and I like them. It's because the song is just 
it's just great, okay? Like, the lyrics are just, it speaks to a lot of teenage girls. It just relates to people, and I love Ed Sheeran. He wrote it, and Ed Sheeran is just Trey Trabian. And I just, I can relate one line to me. So here, let me play it. Yeah, it's a good song. Mm. Okay, well, and the music video just came out, so I'll put a link to that too. Now to movie of the month, and let me think about this. Nope, okay, I got this. I watched A Return to Halloween Town with Sarah Paxton. I love her. She she was in um, Aquamarine, and that's like one of my favorite movies of all time. So yes, I watched that on Disney Channel a couple, was it last week? So comment below your favorite movie of the month so I can watch it and talk about it in my next favorites video. So that is it for my favorites video. Um, I also wanted to say that Okay, uh -huh, okay, so my dance showdown performance with Mike Song, who was on Ellen, like, <laughs> went live on their dance on Network Channel on YouTube, and I'll have a link to my performance in the down bar. Okay, guys, so all you have to do to advance me to the next round, there are 12 YouTubers right now, and then next week it's going to go down to four, and so for me to progress or advance in this competition, which would mean the absolute world to me, like, I can't even put it into words. All you have to do is go to the Dance On Network channel, I'll have a link in the down bar, so you go to that. The first thing you're going to see when you click on Dance On Network's channel is 12 thumbnails with a picture of uh, the YouTuber and their dancer, and you're going to click on mine, and then at the very top, like, at the very top of my video, there's a little bar that ha it says vote, and it's, like, orange-yellow color, and then there's a green thumbs up, and there's a red thumbs up on this side, or down, oops. Red thumbs down, green thumbs up, and if you want to vote for me, all you have to do is thumbs up. But yes, so that is how you vote for me on Dance Showdown, and you can actually vote every single day. So if you watch, if you're watching this today, you can vote, uh, vote for me, and then you can vote tomorrow and the next day. You can vote every single day, once per day, and I would love you forever. It was so much fun doing it. I wish I could just rewind my life a little bit and do it again, because and if I do advance to the final four then I will be able to do it again, and that would be the best birthday present ever. Like, ah, that would be the best thing, you guys, because my birthday is on November 5th. That's Monday. If you would like to do that for me, I would be so happy, and I would be so honored. Thank you guys for watching this video, and make sure to check out the bottom bar for all the links and stuff, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to vote for me on Dance Showdown, and watch my performance. I would be so happy if you did, and I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye! <laughs> Sounds like I'm giving birth. <laughs> oh my god, I just died. I just think it's so cool. And that eh, is where you're like, holy baby, it's snowing. I am Mare Bear. On to. It's to school and I'm like, oh, look at my water bottle. Oh, pardon me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Eating saltines. Oh. Like there's no tomorrow, baby. Someone needs to take this away from me. This is not good. I literally can't contain myself. I cannot control myself. I have no willpower whatsoever. But seriously, who wants to volunteer? Who wants to be Le Cadmice? S-O-S, please someone help me. It's not healthy. Really, it's not healthy. Does, both of those are on her playlists. Who wants to party with Mare Bear?